Hey guys, so today we've got another unboxing and quick review of an item from this company that I'm quite sure all of you have heard of before, Anchor. But the interesting thing is, this isn't a power bank or a cable. This is a project that I backed on Indiegogo a couple months back. This is what's inside the box, they call it the capsule, so it is a mini projector. It looks like a soda can, so this is its Indiegogo page and let me run through some of the features of it. It's apparently got remarkable clarity and contrast. You've got a 360 speaker, advanced power management, there's quick charge, it's running Android 7.0 and of course one of the best features, it's a soda can size projector. Alright, so let's unbox and have a look at what's inside. Alright, so as you can see inside the box, there's two other boxes and I think I know why. The pledge that I made on Indiegogo is for the Nebula and also, if I'm not mistaken, this will be the... Yep, it's the carry case. It's surprising that the capsule, something so small and fragile, doesn't come with a case. If I'm not mistaken, this carry case was an additional 15 USD. And the Nebula itself, the whole package, was $214. So this is the box. Okay, let's open it. They really did a good job on the packaging, it's really nice. I think you slide it off, yep. You slide it off. How do I open this up? Oh, I lift it up as well. And there you have it. That's the capsule. Okay, as with any other unboxings, we leave the best for last. Let's have a look at the remote. It's got a matte finish to it, so okay, you can use it as pointer, power, navigation, back, home, volume, okay, the usual stuff. Feels good, I don't think there's a battery inside, so it's pretty light. Now we have this small box at the bottom of adapters. Okay, there's a wall adapter. And a cable. What cable is this? I think there's two cables in here. Yep, one is a... USB, micro USB on the go cable. One more is a USB to micro USB cable. There's actually something else in the box and it's a it's a small little bag for it. They didn't mention that it would include this. Just a quick note, look at the slight wearing around the packaging. Oh my god, it's small. It's got a good weight to it but it is so small. Is there anything else in the box? That glue work at the back here is quite disgusting. Okay, so we've got a cleaning cloth here. Happy? Not happy. And this is the manual. It's pretty thick. So as you can see, the bottom part is a grill that surrounds the projector. And I guess that's the 360 speaker working. So you've got the main projector here. I'm not really sure what this dial does. It's moving the lens. This must be the ventilation remote IR blaster maybe? At the top you've got the power button, volume up and down. I'm not sure what this button does. Okay, so you've got an input. I guess this is where the micro USB on the go cable will go. HDMI input. The exclusion of USB was a really big discussion point. And thankfully they've included the on the go cable. But I'm not sure because you've got to think about the power input as well. Although there's a built-in battery but I mean, if you're using the USB input for your media, you're relying on the power bank's battery inside. With that being said, this is running Android 7.1, so if I'm not mistaken, there are some casting applications or technology that the capsule can make use of. And yep, there's a mount, so you can put it on the tripod. Oh, we've got one more item, the case. Let's have a quick look at that. Look at that. That is so big. You just made something so portable, a bit less portable. I really wish they made it smaller though. Just for comparison, this is the case, this is the Nebula, and this is my iPhone 7. So what does the inside of the case look like? So this is where the capsule goes, this is where the remote goes, and I guess this is where all the other stuff goes, like cables. Okay, it's a really snug fit, which I like. I can't say the same about the remote. What else do you need, I guess? Cables from just now. So, it doesn't really close properly. I mean, you've got to push it down a bit and then zip it up. So there you go, you've got your own mini cinema. Let's power it on. Alright, I'm not sure to what extent you can see this, but 
at this range which is it's just my hand it's pretty high res so let me move it a little bit back nebula is just under the camera okay so the remote actually comes with a battery inside now let's go through the setup I'm manually blocking my home SSIDs right now let me go through some of the you know just the general setup and get the device running before showing you guys Alright, so there's a companion app that you can download to control the capsule. So the button at the top just now was actually for the Bluetooth speaker mode. So I guess you can use this device just for the speakers. And we are on the home screen. So we've got HDMI, screen mirroring, file manager, network settings. We've got the app store, Netflix, YouTube, that. Let me quickly check if there's any updates. Oh look, 60% battery. Of course there's an update, so... Let me update before continuing any more tests. Alright, I'm just done updating and now I'm going to connect the app. Alright, I've connected it and this is my phone and it's pretty responsive. Screen mirroring, let's try that. Okay, it uses the AirPlay protocol. So you can do it on Android as well using Miracast. Okay, what's going on? Wow. It's working. Okay, it's a lot slow. I tell you what, let me try this on Android. And okay, we're connected. It's much, it's a much smoother experience. Excuse my dodgy little setup, but it's pretty clear. Have a look at that. And that's up to my wall. I mean, I mean my ceiling is. That's really clear. This is definitely the best mini projector I've had. Okay, so another cool thing that this Nebula does is that it auto-corrects your projection based on the angle. So what I mean by that is, okay, now it's like this, but if I move it up, see, it auto-adjusts, although I'm still holding it at this weird angle. Okay, so I've put the device away, it's charging now, and I'm gonna take my time testing it, but my initial impressions from that little testing is, it's a really great portable projector, it's the best that I know of. I'm not sure what's the retail price but if you're looking for one, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.